Hello and welcome my friends, today is Engines Day, this small icon you can change here and you can choose in your heavy fighter to use two, three or four engines and on the single fighters you can use one or two engines or three maybe, it depends and the question is are using, is using more engine completely useless? And the short response is no, it depends, as always, in every great strategic games, the answer should be it depends. It depends on what, on the situation. So the purpose of this video is to explain you when you should use double or three engines for your fighters or even four engines. Hope you enjoy and let's start. And if you are in Paradoxian channel, please subscribe here, it's Tino Dua English. I created this channel two weeks ago, so I hope to find you here. I will keep moving stuff from Paradoxian to here. So let's start by the basics. We have this heavy fighter, cost 51.5 and they use two engines. And here you have it, you should always try to use, if you are using two engines, always use your best model, in this case level two. And the engine gives you um, trust and the trust allow you to take off. If you are going, for example, to add um, armor or turrets or whatever you are going to be adding, it could increase a lot your weight and therefore you are going to be needing thrust. In this case you cannot save this template because you have armor here and the plane cannot take off. So you can change your engine to three engines and engine model two and now you can save and the plane can take off but the cost goes up a lot with the new engine so basically engines increases the cost a lot by adding new engines but keeps you more speed and more thrust thrust allow you to carry more weight so more equipment more turrets more, more water so let's go to the meta fighter now but before I can explain the engine's benefits, let me explain you the Lanchester Law. Very basic, very simple. Lanchester Laws are laws that apply to simulate the results of combats. And there are two important laws. Lanchester Linear Law and Lanchester Square Law. It sounds complex, but let me give you two examples and it will be very easy. And here is an example that I took from the web, you can see the video, it's very cool. This is a linear Lanchester Law battle example. You have troops from all sides and they encounter themselves in the middle, they do not have ranged weapons, so what matters here is the quality. The numbers is kind of useless because it's a fight one versus one, maybe two, three versus three, but you have a lot of units in reserve in both sides, so numbers doesn't all of course they are very useful but if you have let's say 100 units of level 1 and you have 50 units of level 2 meaning that they are twice as damaged they will approximately ending all dead because they are then going to be fighting war versus one on the other hand when you have a Lanchester score law typically in roleplay games let me show you the, uh, the new example this is an example of Lanchester Square, all range units, and here the units, the side with more units will start getting a quadratic advantage. For example, 200 versus 100, there will be l far less than 100 losses on the bigger side, because they will use the number to overrun the enemy defenses, they will start concentrating fire, and it will get quadratic. In Total War happens the same, if you are fighting at the door, the, the, the troops are concentrated on the gate and all the fight is on the gate, it's a linear law and the, the, the best units, the more qualified, the, the high quality units will be in the battle. But if you are in open terrain and you have ranged units, you can use your numbers at your advantage. The same happens in Hearts of Iron 4. In Hearts of Iron 4 you can use three fighters per enemy each enemy plane detected so for example if you have a detection of 50 percent and you see let's say that they have 1000 enemy planes 1000 enemy planes and you detect then 500 fighters if you detect 500 fighters means that you are going to be able to use 1000 
500 units. That is when you have high detection. 50% is quite a high detection and allows you to use your numbers in your advantage. On the opposite side, for example, when they are attacking China, they have a detection of 6%. It's quite low, so despite maybe I have a lot of, they have a lot of fighters, of heavy fighters to escort, but they only see 6% of my planes, so they are not able to use their full force. It's quite, in this situation, it's more a linear law. It's one versus one. We used this concept in previous video to demonstrate that the heavy fighter is more efficient than the small fighter in many, many situations and that the small fighter is more efficient than the heavy fighter, for example, in the English Channel where you have high detection. You can see that video on the plane. But let's now focus on the engines. And we are going to use this Meta Heavy Fighter as model. The Meta Heavy Fighter is 1.4 better, that is 40% better than the small fighter in one-to-one -one combat. It's more efficient in when you are in a linear situation, but it's worse when there is high detection. It's at least le less efficient. But let's add to this model. We are going to write down the, the numbers, the attack, the speed, the cost, and I'm going to change this template. And we have here the number. The original design, it's this is a speed 560 something and the new design is a little bit slower, but this is the defense. In it went up from 23 to 38, so a huge increase. And this is the increase of the cost 51.5 to 71.5. So let's do the calculations. And here are the numbers. With the new design, you are going to be increasing your defense by 65% and you are going to be increasing the cost by 39, 38%. And what does that exactly mean? If you are in a linear situation, this is the formula attack multiplied by defense divided by industrial capacity. This means that, for example, you have two soldiers that are 50 hit points versus one soldier that is 100 hit points, all the three will be dead. So industrial capacity is linear against the attack or defense. But on the square situation when the planes can surround and attack many to one or the archers, the industrial capacity is multiplied by the industrial capacity because you are going to be able to use in this scenario two soldiers doing shots, ranges, so, so they will fire both soldiers at the same time and this will be dead and one soldier will remain on this side. So in, in particular in this scenario this means that in a linear situation the new model of the heavy fighter will be better, about 30% better than the standard model. And that accumulates with the previous heavy fighter model, so we are going to see an example right now. Take a look at this situation. In this situation I'm sending four disguised heavy fighters. They are actually have a bomb base, so they lure the interceptors. I want to destroy the enemy interceptors and they scramble. But they are just 200. If they are 200 and I have a 50% detection, means that I only going to be able to see 100. So I'm going to be able to use 300 of my planes and therefore it's more intelligent that I send 300 planes instead of 400. Why? Because if I send 400, the enemy is going to be able to detect more of my planes. So what you should send here? 300 of the small fighter, 300 of the heavy fighters that will deal more damage and destroy more units and that's much better than using the small fighter or instead the new modified version with the three engines heavy fighter and that will be even much better because you you can use in if you have several place planes you cannot use them all you can only use in this situation 300 fighters more will be a waste and therefore you need in this scenario quality quality is more important than the heavy fighter in normal situation are 1.4 better but if you add the new engines it's always going to be almost twice as good as the small fighters in terms of efficiency in terms of numbers you are going to destroy the enemy planes 
and there is another super important hidden benefit in the long run and that is the experience since you are going to be using heavy fighters heavy fighters have far more defense than the small fighters and if you reinforce them with armor will be even harder and stronger and you can only use 200 well you are going to be a high superability i don't know they will survive a lot and they will get elite very soon on the other hand if you use the small frame they will keep dying and you will keep losing experience and they will be here or they will never be going up so the benefits are huge if you can see at level elite your air attack goes up to 20 you also gain agility 30 percent and you also get decreased night modifier all these things multiplies amongst them so the results in the long run are overwhelming just impressive no comparison it's not so simple to just do a test in the English channel and say yes the small fighters are better no no way in the long runs if you use the heavy fighters with the new engines and the armor you're going to be getting also this bonus and will be a massacre of the enemy fighters but of course it depends on the detection so it's not always true it's super situational and yes, I know in previous videos I said that you should use the small amount of engines as possible and the best model and if the takeoff is okay. But now after seeing the numbers I changed my mind. Sorry, my mistake. Um, because it's the same reasoning that with the heavy fighter against the small frame. But I didn't realize that was going to happen the same with the armor. So take the calculator out and check your defense and gain the industrial capacity cost and see if you are going to be having linear battles that you cannot use more fighters due to the detection or you are going to be using massive numbers of planes in that situation like in Europe you will be better with small frames you're not going to be gaining much experience but I personally have something with the elite units and experience I always have to love to have super trained units and I can't avoid so now from now on I'm going to use the new design with the armor and just proceed accordingly so thanks for watching have a great day and bye bye